The culinary boom in Baja, California is expanding to San Diego. Foodies say the Mediterranean Asian influenced Baja cuisine made of fresh food and regional ingredients make it a popular choice in both countries. Joining me to talk about foods without borders are Chef Martin San Roman, owner of La Terras San Roman in Guadalupe Valley, and Chef Chad White, owner of Comun Kitchen and Tavern in San Diego's East Village and La Justina in Tijuana. Welcome. Thank Hello. you. Thank you very much. Now, Chad, Baja Med is this popular cuisine that's really catching on. I'm hearing quite a bit about it. What makes a dish Baja Med? Well, Baja and the Mediterranean have a very similar climate. So you're looking at a lot of the same ingredients, the same fresh fish, um, and the inspiration that comes from, from those regions of the Mediterranean, um, but utilizing the ingredients from Baja. And Martin, another trend besides this Baja Med is for chefs, amazing chefs like yourself taking their cuisine on the road in food trucks um, why do you think this is popular and and can these food trucks uh, cross over the border I don't know if you can cross the food trucks between Mexico and the United States mm -hmm. but now uh, now what is happening is a lot of chefs are doing the great dishes in in a food truck and I think people is accepting it you know and are they accepting it because you can maybe not have to make a reservation for a restaurant or just because it's convenient or the chefs maybe get because to it's more? something very simple and uh, e easy fast to to eat and also it's very convenient because it's located in different corners of the street so it's a uh, we would say it could be a little bit faster, you know, for people to enjoy it. Also something different, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's really mm -hmm. good food because I'm, I'm a food truck uh, follower. So, um, Chad, we've got some stuff here sitting on the table. Uh, tell us what this is and, and, and how you incorporated the regional flavors into, into these dishes that you made uh, just before you came on the set here. So this is a dish that we serve at Comun Kitchen and Tavern, and it's Baja clams, so Venus clams. They're sauteed with house-made chorizo. All right, chorizo is, is a uh, historical um, sausage that's made in, in uh, Mexico and Baja. We put in hominy, which is also what you would find in um, pozole or menudo. And um, some we some onions, it looks like. Some We're onions, you garlic, it here. and then also we have a uh, shark, so green thresher shark, which is a sustainable bycatch um, here in California. So we smoke that and we flavor our broth with a little bit of uh, ham hock and spoked paprika, uh, and of course, beer. And the bread. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't, don't forget so that. So dipping <laughs> the bread, drinking the beer, uh, it's definitely a good share plate, and that's what we're all about at Comun. The, the, the taste altogether. Now, Martin, you also mix uh, different regions in your recipes that are actually a fusion of French and Mexican flavors. Uh, tell us about some of your creations. Yes, we do uh, the Baja Provencal cuisine. That is uh, using the product from uh, the region from Baja California with a French style. And we, are do, we do that more country style. Like I, I have the duck breast, one of our menus we have a duck breast that is made with a chili powder, it's a chili powder with brown sugar and then it's caramelized and then we serve it with a tomatillo salsa. So it looks very Frenchy and the flavors are smoking and the chili tomatillo makes it what an interesting combo. You wouldn't normally think of those two uh, mm -hmm. things together. Let me ask you about this, and I'll start with you, Martin. Is competition between uh, chefs uh, who work, let's say, both in San Diego, uh, as you both do have restaurants in both places, or Tijuana, um, is it the same, or because you're, you're crossing borders, is there a little bit more collaboration? And I'll start with you. Tough competition? Well, it's going to be a tough talk competition, of course, because there is a, a lot of uh, well-prepared chefs and very young with a lot of uh, great ideas and also some classic. But the work between the chefs from San Diego and Tijuana is is becoming a brotherhood. You know, now uh, the border the border doesn't exceed; it's just the customs. You know, uh, that's what I say. Uh, uh -huh. Would you agree with that, Chad? One hundred percent. I mean, chefs are crossing borders like you wouldn't believe, left and right. Uh, I've been invited so many times down to Baja, as well as some of my other uh, chef colleagues that are in San Diego, and you know, Martin's exact same thing. There is no food border. The chefs are are friends. They're going out to each other's restaurants. Baja chefs are coming to San Diego. San Diego chefs are going to Baja. It's 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 camaraderie through food. Well, mm -hmm. and I know you guys are both at the. Uh, you're going to be at the uh, conference uh, for sure. So if people can uh, can uh, taste your absolute amazing creations. I'm sure at the Tijuana Innovadora uh, in Tijuana this weekend. Chef Martin San Roman and uh, Chef uh, Chad White. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Bye.